All right, here we are. It's Sunday, uh, three weeks exactly since the fire. And we finally have access to get into the building and look around. And I thought I'd give you a tour of the inside this time. We did a walk around in part two uh, after the fire. Uh, but this is going to go inside, so uh, a lot to see, and it's a little sad, actually, uh, because this is what's left of the building. It's not what's left of Delta Chiropractic Center, because we are going to be back. In fact, we're already back. We're practicing at uh, Gilead Health, uh, Gilead Healing Center, uh, which is down as part of Mount Hope Church, our home church, and they were gracious enough to give us space until we can uh, arrange something more, uh, more permanent. Uh, so we're going to go inside, look through. Uh, those of you who have been here before, you, you uh, know what the place looked like. So kind of imagine what that was and then what it is now. So let's uh, walk in. Uh, we're outside, and I'll try not to make this too jerky for you, but here's looking across the front of the uh, building in both directions. I've already unlocked the door, so we can just go on in. And uh, here's the entryway. It's been tromped on a little bit. Uh, because of uh, firemen and inspectors and such coming and going. Um, that's looking into the audiologist's suite. And again, remember that the fire went up and over the building and um, uh, the, the whole ceiling burned and then caved in. So you're going to see as we go through here that there's about uh, anywhere from six inches to a foot and a half of rubble everywhere throughout the building and it's soggy rubble because of the uh, fire work. Uh, gallons and gallons, thousands of gallons of water poured into this place to stop the blaze. Um, and then it all fell in, and it's so soggy, soggy rubble. Um, and so the waiting room, uh, these beautiful chairs we used to have um, are charred, broken. Some of them look like they may have survived a little bit, but they're pretty beat up. Um, open to, this, to the air, so uh, there's no ceiling over the whole thing. Um, so let's walk in this way. I won't bother looking in the bathroom, but uh, almost the whole place has no ceiling. There's a couple areas that do have a little bit of ceiling uh, because of um, in the x-ray room and the uh, exam room. They were protected by upstairs a little bit. Um, we've been in a little bit and got some records, and I found my, my drafts. So there's those. Uh, here's the uh, receptionist area. Uh, again, two, three feet of rub piled up in here from the roof caving in. There's the front desk, all the computers, the printer somehow blown apart from water or something. The lights have all caved in. This wall was standing upright and it's down now. Uh, the insurance corner is buried. Again, I'm standing on, it's got to be three feet of rubble. You can't, you can't get into the cupboards because they're buried. I'd rip that door off to try to get some stuff out of there. Our vitamin supplies are so covered in a mess. Some of them are probably still usable, but um, it's a mess. I did find my spine. My human spine was down in that corner, buried under a couple feet. I dug down and found it. It's kind of beat up, and I'll have to clean it up and remount it. Uh, but I did find my human spine, so that's kind of fun. Uh, let's go back to the adjusting rooms. Here's Dr. Dale's um, manual adjusting room. Again, feet of rubble. Our, uh, some of my books survived. Upstairs, there's still walls up there, but it's, I'm not sure it's even safe to go up there, so I haven't been up there. Here's my adjusting room. Um, here's my pro adjuster computer and the chair. It looks like it I don't know, may have survived. It's burned a bit. Manual adjusting table. My spines and my ships were all up there. I did get my, uh, um, Giraffes and cervical vertebra. I salvaged that. It's amazing, isn't it? Gosh, and sad. Here's the hallway. Uh, there's so much rubble here that my head almost hits the ceiling now. So, Dr. Dale's adjusting room. Pro adjuster. I don't know, there's a chance that survived down there. We'll see when the investigators come in. Headrest is all burned through. Our distraction table burned and buried. It's starting to rain. That's pretty appropriate for this depressing tour of, of what's going on. Hey, Mar Mary, Michael. Here's the our report room. Uh, another computer burned up. View box, chairs. Yes. Uh, 
Um, back here is my office. I was able to salvage some records back here, but I just can't open the door because the rubber. But we're in. There we go. And um, so here's uh, what's left of my office. All my books gone. Chairs burned up. Computer. What do you think? Michael, you know computers. You think that'll work? That's the monitor. There's the computer. Lockbox. Some stuff survived though. Look at my sitting out here, wide open in the you know, papers that I'll be able to sort through and see if we can use. Some of my uh, documents for the uh, legal documents are survived. Some melted file cabinets and a safe. Let's go on through. Squeeze them back out, maybe. Oops, caught. There we go. Here's the staff area in the back door. My M&M guy. I don't think he's going to make it. Windows blown out. Gosh, what a mess. Let's go back to the exam room and uh, x-ray. It's pretty dark back here. Because like I said, these rooms were um, covered above. So they kind of survived. But again, there's... I don't know, six inches or so of crud on the floor, wet insulation and X-ray room, pretty dark, sorry. I would turn on the lights, but there are none. I don't know if you can make anything out in here or not. Gosh, what a mess. All right, back here was another bathroom. You can see how deep the rubble is back here. Six inches to a foot of it in here. This way is so we can see through into the audiologist's area now. <laughs> I want privacy for them. Back here is, uh, back there was my um, film room. I can't even get in there yet, but we can see into it once we get into Ruth's massage room. This is all that's left of her stuff. Oh, you can see all the way to the front of the building here. So it's uh, Ruth's room, my film room, audiologist's area. No ceiling, no roof. Back here is the business office. This was uh, Judy's desk. Might be able to salvage that printer, computer. All our file cabinets. Good grief, huh? Yeah, some of the files, for some reason, those cabinets came open. But even then, the, the papers are probably going to be okay once they let us get in and start saving stuff. So... That's that's the tour. Pretty pretty ugly, isn't it? Um, but God's got good things ahead. He's been meeting our needs, and I've got nothing to complain about through all this. Uh, God was so good to us, providing for us, meeting our needs, providing peace and joy in the process. Um, so he's already setting us on a course, and I don't know. It won't be the same. I mean, he's kind of closed this door, but we'll be practicing again. Delta Chiropractic, we'll be back. Um, like I said, we're at Gilead now for the next couple months anyway. Oh, here's a couple of my ships. That's pretty sad. My, I had some uh, collectible books. First edition Tom Swift books, gone. That's pretty sad. A lot of sadness in this, but also a lot of hope because God will do something better, something very good out of all this. So we just kind of watch it, um, watch it unfold and uh, I'm just convinced that he's going to have good for us, good for our patients, uh, good for our community. Um, and I'm excited to watch it unfold. It's a lot of work. I can't believe how many decisions I have to make every day. I've got to make decisions uh, about where to go, where to put stuff. It's like we're reinventing the whole practice. So it's been interesting in that way. And my staff has been outstanding. They're just, they're super people, just diving in, so committed and so joyful, so supportive. Uh, Mount Hope and Gilead have been so good to us. And Many, many people have offered support and help. and um, So it's been good and sad and joyful. And in spite of this, peaceful even. So uh, I, I'm glad you tuned in. Uh, just keep watching because there's good things happening and God's unfolding good things. And I just take this moment to say uh, he's got good things for you too. So uh, pursue him. Pursue a relationship with Jesus. Uh, 
uh, that's I think that's the only way we can we can continue doing this so I'm um, pretty excited about uh, how this is going hi Anna Maria um, so we're enjoying the 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 walk through this I, I don't know how you can enjoy that because it's it's so devastating and yet uh, so interesting I think there's only been one day when I really felt overwhelmed at how much there was to do we were looking at a new uh, site over in Saginaw here that's available for a temporary or maybe even long-term uh, next step uh, and it just felt like so much to do so much to do but there's just one day of that and God brought me up out of that um, encouraging words from brothers and sisters and so we're doing good uh, we do have one big decision to make if you feel like praying for us one of the big prayer requests is, is to, to hear God uh, because uh, we have to know what he wants us to do as far as rebuilding here or selling this property and then um, leasing long term somewhere for the next phase of our, our career. So uh, prayers are appreciated. I want to know what God wants us to do. Um, I know what I feel like at times and uh, I don't want to operate out of my feelings. I want to operate out of what he knows because he knows a whole lot better than I do. Uh, so anyway, God bless you. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll... Uh, do another live video sometime when we have another big step. Um, hey, Titus. Um, and uh, we'll keep you informed because we, we're enjoying the journey, and I hope you do too. I mean, we appreciate your good feelings and prayers and sorrow with us, but, man, it's it's been a, I keep saying that, a joyful time, a peaceful time. Um, so we're good. We're good. God is good, and uh, we keep marching on. So we'll see you again down the road.